here and being so nice and supportive, like you've been told to, I have a shameful, dark secret to share with you tonight. I have a weird hatred towards some songs that if I hear them, I just get a anger attack, you know? It could be in a workplace with colleagues or a wedding or something else. Those songs come on, I start, I just lose it. You know, you know the one? If this ain't love, how does it feel? Why does it feel so good? What the fuck? <laughs> Who told that guy that's the only criteria for love? Like, have you ever had a perfect dump? You know, that feels like your body is getting rid of all your anger and anxiety through your asshole at one given moment, alone, you know, having a poop orgasm? Is that love? <laughs> According to the song, it might be! You know? And another stupid, stupid useless song I really hate you might know is, uh, Don't worry, be happy. Yeah? You wanna give me better advice, maybe? <laughs> you know, that, that fucking song is like the shitty friend that doesn't listen to you when you need help. You know, you go like he's with his phone, like drinking a beer, you go, oh, I don't know what to do. I think my girlfriend's gonna leave me, huh? Oh, don't worry, just be happy. What? I fucking used this song. I think they were on cocaine when they wrote it. You know? Like, do you feel happy for inexplicable reasons? Yeah, fuck yeah, are you not worried? No, man! Let's write a, you know, a song to make everyone feel good! We can't afford cocaine, guys! We can't just be happy! Can I give us some wisdom here? <laughs> Fucking silly song. Anyway, I'm not from around here. <laughs> I think that gives me a different, maybe special perspective, you know? I think my perspective on England is uh, very similar to Rain Man's perspective on kissing, you know? Like, do you like it? I don't know. Wet. Very wet. <laughs> There. Um, so anyway, I have to say, I think the British mentality is nothing short of insanity. You know, take the Jekyll, Mr. J Dr. Jekyll, and Mr. Hyde situation you got going on with the taps. Like it's either completely boiling or completely freezing. Who, who else used for that? You know, I think the taps mimic the people perfectly. Like you either get a completely distant and polite, help that. Guys, drowning, do something. I don't know, I don't want to intrude. It seems like a private drowning. You know? A completely drunk business guy on the street trying to be a friend when you're going to the bus station. You know, hey, what's your name? Come here and give me a hug. You know? I'll give you a better example for this extreme, you know, differences, weirdness. You see, person under the train. Have you heard that one before? They say it on the tube. Person under the train. You know, when you see that, this delay is due to a person under the train. <laughs> Not graphic at all. It's the most polite way, in fact, to say that. Person under, very clean. It's the cleanest way to say some poor schmuck guy squashed like a has been going on for centuries with the British people, you know? It's, a, it's sort of like colonialism if you think about it, you know? Like this weird, polite, but cruel, like, uh, oh God, Godfrey, look at these savages. They're not polite at all. We're going to have to burn the village. <laughs> no, sir, no, don't burn our village. This is a generic non-British person. <laughs> don't, don't burn our village. Oh. You see what I mean, Godfrey? The man didn't even say, please! <laughs> oh, okay, okay, please. Please don't burn our village. Well, you did say please, but 
Too late, I saw you chewed your mouth open. Can't come on and take their goal. <laughs> These people will learn some manners, or else I will have to kill every last one of them. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Polite, but crazy anyway. <laughs> I'll leave you with one uh, anecdote about Tic Tacs. You know? What the fuck is going on in the, in the Tic Tac factory? You know, that place has been operating for decades. No one has ever bothered going to one of the CEOs and telling them, uh, Sir, uh, apparently uh, everyone's taking two Tic Tacs instead of one Tic Tac as we anticipated. <laughs> what? Jim, that's impossible. We had measures taken. We had scientists work on this to calculate the perfect candy size. You're telling me all the experts were wrong? Yes, sir, apparently it's common knowledge. Everyone knows it's apparently two Tic Tacs for a normal person, uh, three Tic Tacs if you're a lunatic, and one Tic Tac uh, apparently if you're a monk. You know? <laughs> Spend too much time thinking about fucking Tic Tacs! Thank you very much. Fucking nuts, isn't it? <laughs>